just did my entire introduction and the camera wasn't even on. But it's on now, so you can hear me now and you can hear me saying this right now. So, moving on. Today I'm gonna show you how to do my candy zombie, which uh, if you follow me on Instagram, this probably looks pretty familiar to you. I did this a little over a year ago, which when I was looking for a candy zombie reference on Google, I found this, which I wasn't planning on copying it to a T, but I thought the character was so cool. I could really see it coming to life, being a living, breathing character. And I just loved all the details it had and how complex it looked and the melty, drippy stuff. That's totally me. So decided to turn it into a character. So anyway, if you're excited as I am, please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and smack that subscribe button and join the horsepower. Now no more horsing around, let's get right into the video and let's get started. And just remember, before you start any candy zombie of any kind, remember to stay hydrated. Your first step will be to block your eyebrows. Make sure they're nice and flat though because you're gonna end up drawing eyeballs on them. And yes, I do drink that much water. Once I was done with that, I started sketching out the shape of the eyeballs. Most of the time when I do my sketching on my face, I end up using white body paint and a thin brush. And now we'll be sketching like crazy. Sketch out all the other rough details on your face such as the mouth, the nose, and all the drippy stuff around. Stuff like that. Ah yes, and sketch the teeth, too. Paint everything except your eyes, nose, and mouth area white. While we still have the white paint out, paint your teeth white as well. I shaded spots on every tooth with teal eyeshadow. Don't shade the whole tooth and don't do your shading in the same places. I mixed together red with a little bit of white to make a dark pink to make the gums up above. Hey, what do you call candy gums? Bubble gum. Yeah, that was a bad joke. <laughs> Assuming that this is bubble gum, I made st stretchy strands going across the mouth and a couple strands going across the nose. And since these strands are gonna be surrounded by black, I made the pink a little bit brighter than the rest of the gums. Now that we have pink paint in our hands, I started painting drippy splotches all around the mouth with pink. I did the same with the teal paint, except I'm, it was more like outlining the drips around the mouth. This character is kind of a comic kind of style, so you're going to be outlining everything with black and fill in the rest of the mouth with black. This is where all those colors that you just laid down will really shine. With the black now, I'm adding little details like little dots and outlines. Before I drew out the outlines outside the mouth, I laid down some teal eyeshadow as a shadow behind the outline. And I did the same for around the nose. And then fill in the inside of the nose with black. Oh, guys, I'm now taking requests for Halloween makeup ideas. If you have a costume and you don't have a makeup to go with it, ask me, and I may turn it into a video. This is my first Halloween on YouTube, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna make it very spectacular, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Back to this video. Continue making drips and little details around the nose with black paint. 
And you can add little details with the other colors as well. Now here, I thought I hit the record button, but apparently I didn't. But here, I fill in the entire iris of the eye with teal paint. And just as Persona 5 says, take your time and make sure the iris is perfectly round. And pat the whole thing down with translucent powder. Now the iris isn't just teal, it's a mixture of navy and teal. So I painted in navy so it looks like the navy and teal are clashing together in a hurricane swirl. You can paint the pupil as large or little as you want, but make sure it's perfectly round. I wanted my zombie to have a very large pupil, to the point where it's staring into your soul. And if your teal gets lost within the navy, you could add more teal in. Now with white paint, I added one large highlight in the eye. To fill in the rest of the eye, I used white jumbo eye pencil and patted it down with white eyeshadow. I'll explain this as best as I can. This is the most detailed part of the entire makeup, but use one color at a time and make the small details around the inside of the eye. This entire area is a place under the skin. It's a giant hole under the skin. It's better to watch and repeat because there's so much going on here. So first I went in with pink, then I went in with navy, and then I used teal to blend in with the navy. And once again, outline everything with black paint. Make it an extra thick outline around the eye. Use the pink and teal colors to make those details just like you did with the mouth. And I went totally crazy when it came with the black polka dots. I just literally all over my face. And then I added a few more outlines and I called it a day with that side of the face. Use the same steps to paint the other eye. But you're not going to be doing nearly as much detail as the first eye. Instead, we're going to do a hurricane swirl like design on the top and bottom portion of the eye. From the outer corner to the middle of the eye, Use navy paint to swipe over the top and fade it out at the end. At the end of the spiral tail, blend in teal paint. Do the same for the bottom of the eye, except start in the inner corner and work your way in the opposite direction. And just because we're sassy, I add a little bit of pink at the edge. I added itsy bitsy navy dots to further blend the navy to the teal. Draw on your new eyebrow with black paint. Don't be afraid if it looks pretty cartoony. That's what we're aiming for. The last step for your face is to paint your ears white. I noticed on the picture that one of the ears is half black, half white. So I painted one of my ears half black. Oh yeah, and I painted the whole top part of my head black. But if you have black hair, good for you. You don't have to do anything. Moving on to the rest of the body, it's pretty simple actually. You're just layering colors on top of each other. You can probably tell just by looking that I started off with pink, then black, then teal, then black again, and then white at the very bottom. And each layer of color is dripping down on the color below it. If you feel like later on that you need more drips in a certain spot, wait till the paint at the lower level dries first, because you don't want the paints to blend together. You want it to stick out like a sore thumb. I I know what you want. The best way to do this is to lay down all the layers of colors first and then add the drops later. But make sure you leave room to add the drops. I'm in both. 
So the white portion is basically polka dots, so add lots of dots. Now highlight all of the black droops. Drippy droops. Drops. Oh yeah, I forgot that this character has a gold tooth, so paint one of the teeth yellow. And you are done! Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and smack that subscribe button and join the horsepower. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!